Marty's garden is all about compost worms, composting, farming worms indoors and out, and growing some of the most awesome food around. You can learn how by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Welcome world to the Marty's Garden Show. G'day my friends, Marty Weir here from martysgarden.com.au. Welcome this morning, it's pretty early here, just after 7am and I got up early especially to film this for you guys because there's some really cool stuff going on in my hungry bin worm farm at the moment. You see I've been creating these multiple layers and I want to take you outside and show you. I've got the hemp fibre mats in there, I've got some coffee in there and I've got these like egg cartons that I got from the school where I work and there's some pretty funky stuff going on. They're really hungry. So let's head out and take a look. So I'm just gonna flip the screen over here because we're vlogging today. We're in the house. Here we go. Moving through the house now. I've got some dolomite here, which you can see. And we're gonna whoosh the curtain back and head outside because it's not so smoky today. We've actually got blue sky, guys. Blue sky. I woke up this morning and I was so excited to see blue sky because the sky has been blocked out like a Mad Max movie. And it's been insane. Hopefully, because I'm just using my older camera today, the wind's not going to get in the microphone. That's one reason why I wanted to get up early and do it. This is a great little camera. It just doesn't have a little cover on the mic. Sony WX500. If you ever want to get one for doing little video logs and stuff like that, it's got a flip up screen, a little zoom. It's an awesome thing. Now, you can look inside, look, they're all up there moving around on the top. And you can see all the castings all over the lid of the hungry bin. There's one there just cruising around. And there's a lot of moisture in here. So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to move back and just sort of give you a bit more of a view here. That's coffee grinds on top. And then underneath is that hemp fiber mat that I was growing the microgreens in. Now, worms seem to love anything to do with roots in it and fiber and it's fibrous stuff. And so they really dig this. And underneath here is just some wet, basically, egg cartons. Oh, you can see a little baby worm on there. Just there. And so they lay their eggs around the outside. Or around that cardboard. They seem to really love laying eggs around cardboard for some reason. And look, what we're going to do is we're going to head over here to this corner here and pull this up and see what's going on underneath here. And we'll keep moving on into the video because I want to show you what I'm going to do with this coffee in a minute. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. They're right into it. It's only been in here two days. And yep, they're loving it. Let's see what's under here. So they're already eating that. It's falling apart already. It's been in there about a week. And look at the castings underneath. Little baby worms. It's all looking pretty good, really. Let's fold this back because we don't want to disturb them too much. And we'll have a look at another section. Let's have a look. Oh. Yep, look at that. They're thick in that spot there for some reason. And where it's a bit drier up through there, they're not in there as much. They're in the wetter zones. I believe they're really going to start hooking into that. Yep, they're right through it. And let's have a look underneath the cardboard here as well. Hopefully that wind's not getting into the camera too much. I'm sort of standing in front of it so it doesn't blow into the microphone. It's like I said, another reason why. So there's two layers, so I put like two together there to see how they go in between the layers. Now it's a bit dry. But all looking pretty good, really. Oh, look at the... Look. They're just thick there. There's no other food in here, guys. The chicken manure is just about finished. And they're just feeding on that cardboard that's going to start rotting down. And this hemp fiber mat. And then they'll get into this coffee. Now, coffee is a bit acidic. And it doesn't really hurt the worms, a bit of acidity. But what I like to do is create a bit of pH buffer. A bit of dolomite. And that's going to help a bit with that breakdown and remove some of the acidity out of it. 
like I said, it doesn't really bother them. They just get into the coffee anyway like that. And it's just what everyone seems to do. And I've done it as well. And it's, it just works by adding a bit of dolomite. Like I said, you don't have to though. So down here, we've got the, the leachate that's been going through. And when you've got coffee running through the leachate, it gets this bit of an oily look to it. And don't pour that straight on your plants like that. It's a bit acidic, I've found, and it can really sort of affect your plants, especially ones that don't like a bit of acidity. But if you've got strawberries and things that do like a bit of acidity, then, um, yeah, you can make it a bit stronger and water it down to about five to one, something like that. We'll put that down back below. Now, you can see I've got worms down here. There's a little baby worm right there. I'll save you and put you back up here into the thing. Sorry about all that camera movement, guys. Move this back down under here to be caught. Now, the reason I've got this under here, and it's really dry at the moment. Oh, so dry, I need to wet that down. It's like a catchment area when they climb. They go down through here, fall into there, climb out and go under there, and I don't lose all the worms. This is full, needs to be harvested, I would say. I'm not in any real rush at the moment. I'm just doing this trial with this to see how it works with that layer system and how well they're going to get into that uh, hemp fiber mat, which is really interesting because I know a lot of people, a lot of farmers and gardeners and things want to recycle that hemp fiber mat that they're growing the microgreens with. And you can see that the compost worms do really love it. Anyway, let's head inside and yeah, have a bit more of a discussion. About so that was super lucky, guys. What happened was I was recording and then I ran out of memory on the camera and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> but anyway, I nearly got, I was 99.9% .9 done. So sorry that sort of cut off so quick there. So we're back in the studio now. As you can see, I've got my signs and everything set up. I've got all my camera gear here because I was in a bit of a rush this morning getting this out to you. There's a lot going on here behind the scenes that I've got to get done today. I've got my daughter home from school still because the bushfire thing that's going on, but it looks like they'll be back to school tomorrow and I'll be back to work at the school crossing uh, in the morning as well. I love doing that lollipop in the mornings and afternoons at the local school. It's only about oh, two minute walk from where I live. So very, very cool. Anyway, I'm getting a bit off track here because I, I love talking to you guys. But what I want to discuss is that fiber mat so that hemp fiber mat it looks like they're going to just chew into it and i'll keep you updated on that as they're eating and feeding inside that worm farm if you'd like to see it also if you'd like to see like a bit of a behind the scenes of what cameras and things i use here in my little studio set up inside the house because people always go wow you're actually doing that inside the house and yes i am but i'm not going to share that now i want someone to say yep i'd love to see it i need one or two people if they would like to see that then i'll show you a little behind the scenes thing going on at marty's garden i really do appreciate each and every one of you that come to watch my videos super stoked to always have you here and join in on the fun and the super education i'm saying super education now where do i get that word from i never say super I always say, awesome. So anyway, have a great day. Happy gardening. I'll see you in the next video real soon. Just let me know if you like these type of vlogs too because I really love doing them. They're lots of fun. Have a great day and bye for now.